So in this video, I'm going to talk about another hidden cause of diabetes that you might not be aware of, that you need to be aware of, and that is excessive amounts of iron. I mean, this is kind of surprising. You would think uh, iron would be very beneficial to the body, but the problem with iron, it's very difficult to eliminate, um, and a lot of people have too much. And there's even a genetic condition called hemochromatosis, which is an iron overload disease, which the body just cannot eliminate iron. So it keeps building up. And the problem with iron is it's very oxidizing. It's, it, you can kind of look at it like it rusting out your cells. Uh, well, anytime you have that effect, you're gonna have a lot of inflammation. And with the inflammation comes a big spike in insulin resistance. So this condition, hemochromatosis, has a huge link to diabetes as a side effect. Uh, not to mention a fatty liver, cirrhosis, because iron apparently accumulates in the pancreas, in the actual cells that make insulin. So the more iron you have, the more destruction you have uh, to the beta cell, then you have a big problem with insulin itself. So where does this iron come from? Well, one big problem is the fortification of foods primarily in the U.S., in Canada, and the U.K. Other parts of the world, they don't fortify as much, and in many cases, they don't fortify at all. And there's also a date coincidence of increasing fortification of iron uh, and also other synthetic vitamins in 1980 for baby formulas. And if you look on the graph on this, you see this date coincidence uh, of people getting fatter right after that point. Now, I don't think it's the source of this problem, but it's definitely a contributing factor for sure. Now, in 1983, the FDA increased the iron amount in flour products by 20 milligrams per pound. And this is another day coincidence of the spike in obesity. So the question is, what do we do about this? Well, there's a couple things you can do. Number one, don't consume fortified foods. Uh, number two, consume less red meat if you have a problem with too much iron. And I put a link down below to learn about what that means. Personally, I do consume quite a bit of red meat. I don't have a problem with iron, but this would be um, targeted for those people who do. There are some other things you can do to help pull this iron out. They call it chelation. Um, there's something called IP6, which is uh, phytic acid, and that helps to chelate iron as well as something called EDTA. What you could do is, because these pull out other minerals too, you could take this on an empty stomach. Several hours later, you can take the minerals that you want in your body, like potassium, magnesium, so you can actually not deplete all your minerals. Also, donating blood gets rid of the iron. If you feel really good when you donate blood, chances are you have too much iron. And, and the other thing is you wanna avoid supplements with iron. Make sure that you do not consume a multivitamin mineral with added iron. Unless it's in a form that's really easy to digest, um, and that would be a form like liver, like grass-fed liver, if you're anemic. But other than that, I don't recommend supplements that have this fortification of iron. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now, and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.